Welcome to Open House NYC. Now today's show is all about the vast influence of mid-century modern design. So it's only fitting that we're coming to you from the former Park Avenue apartment of Vladimir Kagan, one of the most influential furniture designers to come out of that era. Now as you can see, the home is filled with examples of Kagan's work. Their sensuous swooping curves are hallmarks of his style and the pieces are as memorable as they are inviting. The same could be said of this place. It's got pre-war accents like crown molding and herringbone floors, yet the three exposures make the home feel bright, modern and gracious. It's also spacious at nearly 4,000 square feet, spread out over 11 rooms of true Upper East Side elegance. The Harvard Five were a group of architects that helped make New Canaan, Connecticut nationally recognized for its mid-century modern architecture. Member Elliot Noyes originally designed 81 Cross Ridge Road as an example of their aesthetic. It's sophisticated yet functional, using natural materials and floor-to-ceiling windows to define its living areas. It's over 6,000 square feet of open flowing spaces, sited on nearly three acres of beautiful grounds. Let's take a look. Hi, I'm Fatou Niang from William Pitt Sotheby's International Realty. Welcome to New Canaan. This is a prime example of a mid-century modern home, which was originally designed by one of the Harvard Five, Elliot Noyes. Sitting on 2.8 acres, it has over 6,000 square feet, four bedrooms, and a spectacular poor house. And I can't wait to show it to you. Built in 1951 and renovated in 2003, the open floor plan in this house makes it perfect for entertaining. And every party starts here in this spacious living room. Flooded with light through the floor to ceiling wall of windows, you can sit here and enjoy a cocktail with friends. And speaking of drinks, let me show you this. This staple of a true mid-century modern home. This well-appointed bar. Now that you have a drink, let me take you further into this house. And right of the living room is this formal dining room with beautiful mahogany paneling, large enough to accommodate 10 of your closest friends and views of the private landscape. This is the perfect place to enjoy a sumptuous meal. And if you want a little bit more privacy, you can close these pocket doors. Or, if you want to dine à la belle étoile, follow me. To this inviting patio with its fireplace to enjoy those chilly Connecticut nights. And the essence of a mid-century modern home is to invite the outdoor in. And this is a perfect example of that. As beautiful as it is outside, there's plenty more to see. Right off the dining room is this family room with a custom kitchen. This comfortable space features this stunning aquarium. And yet, the expensive usage of glass affords its views both outside and in. And the flow continues to the kitchen with her own grinding countertop and a unique built-in table, which is the perfect example of the Bauhaus principle of form follows function. I have one more place to show you. Welcome to this serene master bedroom. Waking up to this oversized window invites you to a daily contemplation. And sitting in front of this cozy fireplace is the perfect way to end your day. And soaking in this tub, surrounded by cedar, encourages inner peace. Making this master truly your sanctuary. Thank you for joining me today on this tour of this mid-century modern house that epitomize the perfect balance between design and functionality. Au revoir.